Hey guys, welcome to the level two calculus preparation questions. This is question eight in this series. So today's question is this one right here. As usual, pause the video, try the question out by yourself and see how far you can actually go with this question. Okay, so what we've got is we've got this parabola here, which is f of x. Now it's a positive parabola, so that means it's going to look like this. And then we've got a line that is a tangent. But if you look at the gradient, it's actually negative two. So that means negative two means it's probably somewhere there like this and I'm going to color this point where the, the line and the parabola is a tangent is the orange colored point. So what I need to figure out is for the orange colored point, right, I need to figure out the x value and the y value, all right, but to do that what I do know is that at the orange point the gradient is equal to minus 2 and that's actually from, from here. So I've got f of x, which is x squared minus 4x plus 1, which means I can work out what f dash of x is, which is 2x minus 4. So at this point, I want to figure out what is the, what is the x value when the gradient is equal to negative 2. All right, that's what I want to do. So that means I put negative 2 is equal to 2x minus 4. Then I've got negative 2 plus 4 equals 2x and then 2 is equal to 2x and then x is equal to 1. So what I've just discovered is the orange points x value which happens to be 1 but I need to figure out what the y value is and to do that I can substitute 1 in the f of x function and get what that point is. So I've got x squared minus 4x plus 1 so then f of 1 equals 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 1. So f of 1 is equal to 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. So that means this negative 2 is what that orange point's coordinate is. So it's 1, negative 2. Okay, so now I've got the equation of the, um, the tangent. The equation of the tangent is y equals minus 2x plus k. Now I know what the uh, y and x value is because I just worked out the orange point, which I'm going to use here, which is 1 and negative 2. So when I substitute negative 2 equals negative 2 times 1 plus k, I've got negative 2 equals negative 2 plus k, which means k in this case is equal to 0. And that is basically how you solve this problem. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching this video here. If you have any questions, pop it in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video.